Good day, madam. My name is Jensen of Francis. Today, I would like to present the first point of discussion for question 1 and question 2. Moving on to the first question, which is the synthetic errors in university students' writing. According to Gideon, Tati, and Peter, 2018, the common mistake found in students' writing is error in tenses. Students make these errors because they do not completely understand the right tenses to employ. They also do not keep themselves updated with rules of tenses. So they keep on making this error in, in their writing. Moving on to question number two. In order to put an end to this kind of errors, teachers and students can utilize techniques known as rewrite and restructuring. This technique will help students to analyze the mistake they've done in tenses. They can also learn the correct tenses that they may use in the writing. Students have to rewrite and restructure until they master all the 12 senses. Thank you. Hi, my name is Abdul Hadi. So, uh, we will continue with my part. For the question one, the article suggests that the problem is subject verb agreement. Uh, subject verb agreement is a common issue for students because they frequently make basic er error in word agreement. For example, uh, they are confused with the usage of is and are. And also, students also lack of comprehension in writing English. So, for the second question, the article suggests that students should read more to curb the problem. So by reading, they can improve their subject verb agreement skill. The second one, students need to read extensively so that they can be helped. And reading also can help students internalize subject verb agreement principle and they will be exposed to different sentence structures. And for the last part, for with repetitive reading and practice, it can improve the student's writing skill and in English. My article is based on improvement of English writing skills through blended learning among university students in Malaysia and also students' problem in learning English as a second language among MDAB students at UITM Melaka. For the question 1, based on these two research articles, they have mentioned that the students have a difficulty of awareness of a paraphrasing in terms of unconventional grammars and also having a difficulty with sentence structure and word orders as well. From these two research articles, the way that student has the techniques or we can say has a procedure which is can help the students to overcome this writing problem with reference which is like uh, as they mentioned in the article which is like grammar also explain the form and also the structure of the word which is the call of morphology and also how they arrange in sentence call like as a syntax and also it will be used to define the words to paraphrase the word as well. So for Hannah and based on our discussion for question one is misspelling a statement is a common mistake that university students do in their writing. They tend out to miss out an alphabet from the words or directly translate some sentences in their mother tongue language. Some of them also have the low level of vocabulary so they can't pinpoint which suitable words to put in the sentences. So based on, the, on our discussion for question two, the students can avoid those kind of problems if they proofread their writings and double check word spelling and meaning from the vocabularies itself. They can also ask their friend to read thoroughly so that they can identify the mistakes they do in the writings. Because if if they misspell or misplace this word in the sentences, possibly of making a statement with different meanings uh, is, can be occurred because the syntax is different. Hello, my name is Ahmad Isabel Ahmad I'm in the class of the structure of English. Today, I'm going to present you question one and question two, which is question one is the problem. Question two is the solution. So for the first one is the lack of clarity, which is students face difficulty in writing due to the influence of their native language and the tendency of vocabulary in English. Second one is the international, international if fellow master's student encounter a challenge in academic writing, such as comprehensive co coherence in writing. And the third one is the traditional product-based approach to writing instruction in Malaysia Education does not fully develop student writing skill. Moving on to the second question, which is concise learning. Number one is providing ample opportunities for students to, to practice writing in academic and professional context. Second one is to encourage students to seek and incorporate constructive feedback on their writing. Third one is to foster opportunities for students to reflect on their writing process and identify areas for, for improvement. That's all from me. Thank you.